I'm up forward on the port side and we're just about ready to start sanding the bottom. We can see that we've taped off the gel coat so that if we were to touch that with the sander, we could almost see the damage to the tape. And that tape's not there for painting purposes, but just to protect it while we're sanding. Now we're going to use an 80 grit paper and we've got a Festool dustless sanding system here. It's going to take care of it quite nicely. We are going to use a uh, dust mask and some safety glasses, but we're probably not going to use a suit because this thing seems to suck up about 95% of the dust, so that's pretty good for us. All right, for right now, I'm going to avoid some of these spots down the bottom because I've got 80 grit on here, and I'm going to switch over to 50 grit for this, but from here up, I'm going to use 80, and the way I'm going to go about it is kind of like mowing the lawn. You know, you make a pass, you want it to be done. You make another pass, you want it to be done. And I'm not into this haphazard sanding and just flying all over creation because you're just flailing around and wasting your energy. You know, and I want to stay in one position basically and move myself up and it's a, it conserves energy and it gets the job done properly. We've got some very heavy paint down here that's never been removed and I just thought I would remove this 80 grit and stick on a piece of 50 grit and see what that does to this thicker paint. You can see here where I've just gone over it with the 50 grit and it has smoothed that right out, almost taken it right off completely. Here it is again here all scaled up very thick. It's like a green bottom paint that was on here one time before that hasn't been taken off and uh, the sander seems to take care of it quite nicely. A little bit of work, but does the job. I'm gonna demonstrate it right here, but even as I go underneath the boat back aft, I'm gonna use a technique here that just saves me an awful lot of energy, and that is that, you know, I'm 64 years old. I don't wanna to have to hold the sander up, even though it's quite light, and push on it with my muscles constantly. It just isn't the way to go about it. What I do is I'm gonna prop my elbow against my knee and actually just bind my hand in there. So I'm not really using any muscle pressure at all, just a binding technique. I'm simply holding on to the sander. I can put one finger on it or my thumb and hold it up there just like that. This is the hand that moves the sander. This is the hand that holds it against the boat. And like I say, I'm gonna use this binding technique. Now watch this work. All right, as they sand in a boat like this or paint it, it's a pretty important in order to keep the boat supported at all times. Now you can remove a poppet stand and move it, but there's a certain way to do that that's good and safe. Now the boat is supported back aft with a couple of stands so that I can actually loosen the stand right up. And uh, we're gonna move it back over to here where I've already sanded, but I'm not gonna take it out from underneath the boat. What I'm actually gonna do is just slide it along like this. So it hasn't been removed, so it still would support the boat if the boat were to tip for any reason whatsoever. And then I'm just going to retighten it in another position like that. That's the safest way to go about it. I don't want to remove the stand, carry the stand, and go put it back in. That's why I've placed this 2x4 here so that I can slide this edge along the 2x4. The other edge is just sliding on the gravel driveway on that piece of angle iron that's connected to the tubes. And it's very convenient, easy to do, and safe. All right, these lift rails here we're actually going to sand by hand because the sand is quite aggressive and we wouldn't want to take any of the corners off of it or alter its shape in any way. So we're actually just going to pick up a piece of 80 grit here and actually sand this by hand and around the corner and probably underneath and then pick up from the machine from here down. Now, even on the vertical side of the keel here now, I've still got my elbow on my knee. I've got my right elbow on my right knee instead of the left elbow. Same thing because I'm reaching out to the right hand side. Makes it very easy to hold the sander up. Does the work very simply.
All right, we're at the transom here of Fish Hawk, and we're just about completed sanding the whole boat. And I'd just like to show you a few things here. Now, here's a section of the bottom paint that's unsanded, and you can see it's like a very light blue. And then where I've sanded it, it kind of turns a little bit darker. So one of the things you're looking for is to make sure you've sanded it everywhere. So as it turns from light blue to dark blue, you can tell you've hit it. Now then the other thing that's happened here is we've sanded through it a little bit actually and we've shown some of the gel coat. So you want to kind of stop right there. It's still got traces of the bottom paint over top of the gel coat so we haven't ruined the gel coat or sanded into it. But that's the time to stop right there. All right, we've just finished sanding the entire hull with the Festool dust-free sanding system. And uh, we're going to take a small piece of hand sandpaper and go around doing some of the details in inside corners and just make sure that every single spot on this hull has been sanded. And we sanded it till it turned from a very light blue to a little bit darker blue. That way we've known we've got to the whole thing. We haven't damaged the gel coat or done a thing wrong to it. And our next step is to roll on some bottom paint.